I'm going to use the table of values for f of x to determine the values here on the right. Remember the x values are the inputs and the function values or y values are the outputs. So to evaluate f of two, we need to recognize that this two here is the input into the function f or the x value for function f. So if we go to the table and look for the input of two or the x value of two, notice how the output is negative one. Therefore, f of two is equal to negative one. Next, we're told that if f of x equals negative three, then determine the value of x. So now this negative three is the output of the function f. So going back to the table, we're looking for negative three in this column here. Here it is. Notice when the output is negative three, the input or x value must be four. So x equals four. Now these last two involve f inverse of x. So even though we're not required to, let's go ahead and complete this table of values for the inverse function. Remember the function f of x and f inverse of x undo each other, which means if x is the input into function f and y is the output, these y values become the input into the inverse function, which return the original value of x. So going back to our tables, these will be the inputs into the inverse function, and these will be the outputs. So for function f, if the input is negative four and the output is two, this two becomes the input into the inverse function and the output will be negative four. So we can see how these two functions undo each other. If the input is negative three here and the output is negative four, then the input for the inverse function will be negative four and the output will be negative three. So we're interchanging the inputs and outputs. So if this is negative two, zero, this is zero, negative two. If this is negative one, negative two, this is negative two, negative one. If this is zero, one, this is one, zero. If this is one, three, this is three, one. If this is two, negative one, this is negative one, two, three, four, four, three, four, negative three, and negative three, four. So this table here should help us on these last two questions. To evaluate f inverse of negative two, we're trying to find the output of the inverse function when the input is equal to negative two or the x value is equal to negative two. So here's the x value of negative two for the inverse function and notice how the output is negative one. Therefore, f inverse of negative two is equal to negative one. And then for our last question, if f inverse of x equals one, determine the value of x. So here, positive one is the output of the inverse function and we're asked to find the input. So looking at the outputs or inverse function values, here's the inverse function value of positive one which means the input, or x, has to equal three. Okay, and that's gonna do it for this question. I hope you found this helpful.